Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ C. Today I wanted to take the time and show you guys how to change uh, your bearings in your motor, especially a Traxxas Villignon motor. Uh, if you guys look at it, hoping you can see it. I'm moving the comm. I'm not supposed to be able to move the comm side to side. Now, if you continue running this motor this way, basically what's going to happen, you're going to damage all the winding inside. Now, what we need to do is remove the cap in the back. That's just a plastic cap. See in the corners where it's hidden the screws, you just need to pry it a bit. Go where the connections are and go slowly. You don't want to break the connections. And once you got the cap up, I got the cap off, and you see the back plate. Now, the other thing we want to do is remove the pinion. And even that, here we go. Part of the bearing. Not good. Now, basically, what we're going to do is remove all four screws in the, that holds the back cap. Sometimes they might be a little bit harder to remove because they are locked tight there. Okay, one of these guys remove, you could remove the plate. It comes off. Now you'll have a bearing on this side here. And I don't know if you guys can notice, it's extremely black. It means a lot of dirt went inside. Now, basically what you want to do is push on the comm. You'll see it's going to be a little bit harder. Try to keep it straight as possible. You don't want to damage the, f the winding inside. And once you got it by the other side, you just take it out. You'll have your motor and this is your comm. Now this guy, basically it's the opposite of a brush motor. The magnet is here instead of being inside the motor. Now what you want to do is make sure to remove every piece of the old bearing. Because you wanna, don't want to keep that there. And like you can see, my hands are extremely black. And it's a little bit hard because it is magnet. And make sure to remove all the parts of the old bearing too, because that will create you damage. And you want to make sure it's completely clean. And make sure to check in both ends. There's a little bit of dirt here. Grab myself a towel here. Make sure to clean that come as the most as possible that I can when we're going to rebuild the motor that way we don't damage anything inside I'll put the comma aside now the other thing you want to do is try to clean the inside of that motor a bit Now, the inside of the bearing is still inside here. It's going to be extremely hard to show you guys. Not sure if it's going to be able to focus. But inside here, you have the other part of the bearing that we need to remove without, again, damaging the interior of the motor. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. Let 
There's even parts of the bearing that's coming out right now. It's like I said, guys, this is the most hardest part to do because you don't want to damage the uh, the winding inside. It's slowly coming out. There we go. There's one part. During the inner shield of the bearing that just came out. Now, the exterior sleeve. This is being extremely stubborn. What we're going to do instead of making you wait i'll uh remove the shield and i'll be right back and we're back got the outer sleeve out of the motor she was a little bit harder than i thought basically what i did is i grabbed my small torch here and heated up the aluminum here to be able to remove that bearing now what we want to do put the motor aside is remove the other bearing inside here and we'll put everything brand new in the motor now if we open this guy right here That's the Traxxas rebuild kit, uh, 3352 R. Just make sure there's nothing in the package. Sometimes it could slide inside. There's nothing. Now, if you guys are not sure, make sure to read this correctly. Um, they will tell you exactly how to remove everything inside, how to put everything back. Now what we're going to do is empty this package completely. Make sure there's nothing left. Put my towel right here. Basically they give you a brand new backing if you want to. Uh, this is aluminum one, this is the plastic one. Let's say this got damaged. Uh, you could replace it with this guy here. Basically, what we're going to do here, we're going to put the aluminum one back in. And let's insert the bearing inside. There we go. Brand new sleeve. And brand new screws. I would suggest put the new screws in. Do not reuse the old ones. And from the old one, they give you some washers, plastic washers. Keep those. Just put them top of the com. At least four or five, depending. Now we're gonna put this aside. We're going to grab our motor back. Now we need to insert this bearing back inside.
I'm grabbing my screwdriver and guiding it in the hole. Without damaging it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab one of my sockets head to be able to push her back in the hole. And I'm going to slightly tap it. And with my finger inside, you can feel if she's fully inserted. And you can look by the hole here too. I'm going to grab a socket a little bit smaller. There we go. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take our comm and insert our comm. Now don't forget to put your brass bushing. And we're going to put the back plate back on. There you go. Now, the other thing too, you have to be careful. There is a, a rubber on the back here. You want it at the correct place when you're inserting your back plate on. Because it goes behind the flat, behind the uh, aluminum casing here at the same time. Because so you want it flat. And your motor turns perfectly. Now, what we're going to do is take the new screws. They do have Loctite on it. You don't need to add any. Screw in all four. And when you're doing this, guys, just take your time. Don't rush it. Especially with trying removing the bearing. You could damage the coil inside, all the windings. You don't want to damage that. If you damage that, your motor is no good anymore. Now, just by turning it, it's smooth, like uh, a little bit like butter. And this cum does not move anymore. Now, basically, put your pinion back. Pop your back cap like this and reinsert your motor in your in your vehicle. And discard the old pieces. Now if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you have a comment or something, post it down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Thanks.